Hello, yes, reporting ethnic crime isn't helping our cause or disproportionately reporting it, I should have said. But anyway, anyway, a lot of nationalist Facebook pages, they disproportionately report a lot of ethnic crime. Nick Griffin, British Unity, Nick Griffin, Facebook. In particular, there's two in particular that or forever on a daily basis reporting as much ethnic crime as they can. Now, this ethnic crime is not winning people over to our cause or our message. In fact, the complete opposite. If all they're reading is doom and gloom on your Facebook, rape, paedophiles, murder, God knows what else you report on there. It's going to drive them away. And I think there's a pattern here uh, that's too familiar regarding Facebook pages where the disproportionately reporting on ethnic crime some will be the enemy like if she's still running uh, Nick Griffin British Unity Donna Trainer, commonly known as uh, Donna Kebab she's another hope not hate spy we're not Griffin believes it on her but there again he believed all the rest didn't he uh, others will be just believing naively uh, that somehow it's going to win, win people over to our cause it's not Nick Griffin he may have nothing else to post, I don't know. But when you look at the um, UKIP Facebook page, naturally it's reporting now about the latest Parsons Green uh, ISIS attack. And it's also uh, regularly reporting on Brexit in Europe and whatever, obviously. But also reports a lot on what's happening to the local uh, pubs up and down the country, fisheries policy and... Uh, small businesses, investment in the country, the whole packet, jobs and literally everything that concerns 99.9% .9 of the people of this country. Ethnic crime doesn't. If you don't live in an ethnic area and you're outside of it, trust me, the people won't give a toss what happens to some poor bugger in Handsworth in Birmingham or wherever, Peckham in London. They don't care. And like I've said, even if all the ethnic crime was cleaned up tomorrow, would it make 99.9% .9 of the people's lives any better or different? Well, the answer is no. Ask yourself this. How many are raped on a daily basis by ethnics in Britain? Well, exactly. You probably count them on two hands, right? How many uh, children are molested by paedophile ethnics on a daily basis? Well, exactly. Let's just say it's hundreds. Well... There's how many people in the country now? 60 odd million or something. Uh, it pales into insignificance to the real problems you know, the 99% uh, percent of the uh, public face. And so I believe disproportionately reporting on ethnic crime is not doing our cause any good at all. In fact, the complete opposite. It'll be scaring people away. I mean, we've been reporting on ethnic crime since how long? Come on, Martin Webster's nightmare file in National Front News. Well, exactly. Where is it taken? It hasn't taken us anywhere. You see, people in this country that don't like the ethnics, it's not because whatever crimes they commit, they don't like them anyway. And those that are affected by ethnic crime then don't care. So to believe alerting someone in an area that's 100% ethnic free, that there's crime in Handsworth in Birmingham, it's somehow going to win them over. It doesn't. Well, well, we're going down the wrong path here again. Some of it's naivety, some of it's the enemy, of course, because the enemy's clever, you see, right, till I come on board, that is. The enemy's clever, it's pushing all this nonsense. The daft nick will fall for it because he always does. But I believe we've got to stop pushing issues that affect 99.9% .9 of the people of this country. Yes, by all means, report on very, very serious crimes. So I'm, uh, yeah, of course, but not disproportionately. Now, I'm not saying Nick Griffin or Nick Griffin British Unity doesn't have the odd article or whatever regarding uh, social issues in this country uh, other than ethnics. Of course it does, but it disproportionately reports constantly on ethnic crime, ethnic paedophiles, ethnic rapists, uh, ethnic everything. But if you go on UKIP, it's not. Now, it's not because UKIP are cowards. It's because UKIP knows you can't sell it. Okay, thank you.